welcome to a new vlog. Today is Wednesday and we'll, we're going to be doing like kind of a weekend vlog slash kind of a week vlog because it's not quite the weekend yet, but it's not fully a week. But today I'm getting ready to film. I am actually about to film lowest rated Ulta makeup, like a try on haul. Oh my gosh, son, right when I sit down, it's better. <laughs> but I'm about to film that and oh, here comes the sun right back. Anyways. I am not expecting it to turn out that well. The video is already up, so I can leave it linked down below. But tonight I'm actually going to an event with Pharmacy. They're launching a new product. So the event, the invite says magic. So I don't know if it's going to be a magic show or what, but I do want to take you guys along with me. But I have a feeling once I finish my makeup, I'm going to have to redo it. Like I have the product sitting in front of me right now and I already am just not feeling super optimistic about it so i'll film the video and then to be honest i'm probably gonna wash the makeup off and redo it unless a miracle happens and these products look better than i'm expecting but that's okay because i want to film some like short form videos today so if i wash my makeup off i can refilm it and or like redo it and film it anyways i want to take you guys along with me to the event tonight i actually just got back from being in michigan i was there over the weekend and i got back on monday kind of monday night actually because my flight was a little bit delayed coming back i was delayed going out and coming back because there was a quite a bit of snow in michigan which was kind of fun because we haven't had snow in new york really at least not in new york city i know upstate they've had a ton of snow but there's really only been one day where we've had enough snow for it to even collect and then it was all melted by the next day. So I feel like I got my snow fix while I was in Michigan. It was nice to be there for a few days to see my mom, see some friends. I'm not too sure about my plans for the rest of the week right now. Friday is St. Patrick's Day. I don't normally do a ton for St. Patrick's Day, though I do know one of my friends is, one of my friends did invite me to go out with them. So maybe we'll do that not sure i'm gonna kind of play it by ear i am also dying to watch the final part of you season four i really liked you season four part one and i'm excited to see part two because that one just came out last weekend honestly i feel like seasons two and three of you i didn't really like because i just felt like they kept recycling the same plot i won't spoil anything in case you're not caught up but i feel like with season four they went a totally different direction which i think was really necessary to do and because of that, I'm liking it more now than I have in the past. Okay, anyways, next, I wanna show you guys my nails. I just finished doing them and I filmed it. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a little out of order. I'll put those clips in next, but you guys have asked me a ton of questions on my press on nails. So today I filmed the application with all of your questions answered. So we're gonna do that next, but I've been putting timestamps in my vlogs. For me, I feel like the fun of the vlog is just watching all the chaos not that it's that chaotic but just watching like little bits and bobs of everything but if you are here for a specific part and you're not super interested in others i will have timestamps if you want to move ahead so if you aren't interested in the nails or if you are feel free to utilize those but i'm going to show you my nails and then i'm going to film a bit and i will take you with me to my event tonight okay let me show you the nails now all right let's do my nails the set i'm applying right now is from static nails the name of this is the opalescent french but I've never used static nails. So this is my first time trying their nails. I normally use Glamnetic. Someone told me that they think the static nails are thin. I would say these are probably similar to Glamnetic. They're definitely more thin than like Kiss nails or something like that. But I kind of like that because I feel like they seem more realistic. But I've already separated these out and sized them per hand. So we've got like left and right. The only thing is I think there's a mistake in mine. So all the nails are numbered. If you look up close, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera because it's really tiny. You have to hide a, or like shine a light up to it, but they have numbers. So that way you can determine what size they are. But I think they messed up this pack because they gave me four, no, three fours and only one five. And for one of the nails, I needed a five. So they don't quite fit. But for the ones that are the wrong size, I just kind of like file them down a little bit before I apply them. But I've already prepped my own nails. There's no polish or anything on them. And then I use a cuticle presser to really push my cuticles back because this will give you a more realistic application. So it'll look more like a nail because you can lay the fake nail right up to your own cuticle. Also, you could just like gently go over your nails to rough it up a little bit and they'll stick better, but I don't think that's necessary. A lot of you guys did ask me also how I save these. So what I do after I use them and I take them off, 
I have this. This is a nail drill and it has different heads to it. And I use one of them to just drill off the extra glue and then I put them in a little baggie and save them. Okay, but how I apply them, here's the trick. It's this glue. I can leave this linked. I'll have the set and everything else linked down below, but this glue in particular is what makes them last for weeks. So it's the Glammatic, but specifically the brush on glue. The glue that comes with it like this, I don't necessarily recommend. Like this is nice to keep in your purse for a touch up in case you lose a nail like a week or so in, but I don't like it to apply them because you can't be as precise. This has a brush tip to it. So it's kind of like applying nail polish. So let's start on my left hand. I take a little bit of glue on my finger, well not on my finger, on my nail. And then I put a little bit on the fake nail. And then you want to press this right up to the edge and then hold down. I would hold this down for like 20 seconds at least. Just like really let this sit. Also, I should have filed this pinky nail down more. I don't know if I have really narrow pinky nails, but every nail set, it is never the right size on my pinky. Even like the smallest nail in it is always way too wide. But, oh, my other thoughts on this set, they're really, the nails are really round like it's it reminds me of a bird so i don't really like that but we, we can reshape them a little bit once i finish applying them okay so a little glue on your nail on the fake nail and then i'm gonna press that in also i feel like a good way to tell if you got enough glue is on these more sheer nails you can see if there's a bubble or something like honestly on the pinky here i don't know if you can see that slightly lighter part right there I probably didn't put enough glue because the glue should have covered the whole surface area and you really have to use enough to get these to stay. But the other question I always get is how do you take these off? And the first tip I will give you is you, you have to leave them on for a while, to be honest. Like I wouldn't try to take these off the next day. The earliest I ever try to take off a set would be a week into it but normally i try to wait like two weeks because after two weeks they're gonna start to wear down a little bit and most of these nail brands will recommend that you take a bowl of warm water add some soap and oil soak your nails and then gently peel them off i don't like doing that what i end up doing is taking them off in the shower because i feel like the steam from the shower and the heat helps the most and what i would say when you're taking them off don't peel from the bottom back that's how you're gonna damage your nail peel from the top like start at the cuticle like start lifting it up that's why i say don't try to take these off early you want the part the top part to already be starting to lift a little bit and then just get in there and work your way around like break up the glue from around i'll just kind of do this motion in the shower just like starting to lift it off never pull never you like you don't want to damage your nail and if it's not ready to come off I would not force it. There are some days where I get like most of the nails off, but I'll have like one remaining nail and I will just wear that nail for the next few days. Like, yeah, it might look a little funny, but personally, I would rather do that than rip it off and damage my real nail. But that's a personal thing. You could just rip it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, I like I said, I don't like how curved these are. If you see them from this angle, they're pointing down, reminding me of like a bird but I do like the the color. They're really pretty. Though so I think I put this one on crooked, but that's okay. So once I get to this point, I don't do my thumb yet because it'll be easier to do my other hand if I have my thumb available. So I'm gonna wait on that. I really think the biggest mistake a lot of people make is just not using enough glue. You don't wanna to use too much where it's coming out around the sides and under the nails, but you do wanna use enough so the nail is fully covered. But if you do wanna use the included glue, I would say once you put it on, use the applicator to kind of smear it around just to make sure the entire nail is coated. I do always get asked if I feel like my nails are damaged from doing press on nails. I haven't noticed any damage from doing these. The only thing you'll notice is when you take them off, the very first set I ever did when I was looking at my nails, I was like, oh gosh, they are really damaged. They're like a bunch of marks. But then I realized later those marks are glue residue. So the glue kind of stays behind. So it might look like there's something to your nail, but it's not damaging the actual nail. The only way you're gonna damage your nail is if you're ripping them off. Like it's really the removal that would be causing problems. 
I've got all the nails on and now I'm gonna go through, once I feel like the glue is really dried down, cause I wouldn't really recommend doing this when they're not fully set yet. But once the glue is fully dried down, I'm gonna go in and file them a little bit while they're on my fingers because the ends of these are really jaggedy. Like if you had tights on or anything, you would definitely snag it. Not that I'm playing with tights anytime soon, but these are too sharp. And so I'm just gonna go in and file them down a little bit. You can reshape these if you don't want them to be quite as pointy, but honestly, this is probably one of my favorite sets that I've worn in a minute. I think it looks so natural. Like, I don't think this looks like press on nails. I think this looks like I just went to the salon and got a French manicure. I am gonna try to file down the shape a little bit. So I'm just gonna like put the nail file under and try to flatten them a tiny bit just because I think they're a little too curved for my preference, but I love these. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I hope I answered everything, but if you have any more, leave them in the comments. <laughs> slip tint from say I didn't love this at first but now I feel like for an everyday look it's very light coverage but I think it's really pretty so that's what I mostly just have on this I put on a little bit of bronzer and then I don't know why but this morning I woke up and I was like I need to wear red lip today I used to wear red lipstick pretty consistently like at least once a week maybe or at least every few weeks have not worn it in months and I'm like needs to be a red lip day. So let me show you the combo. First I did a lip stain just because I feel like I'm gonna be gone for a while and I don't wanna risk this like starting to fade away and looking weird. So I did the Ulta Beauty Weightless Water Stain. This I love so much, talk about it all the time. Actually, the whole lip combo is drugstore. The lipstick, or no, lip liner is Koki Lip Liner in the shade True Red. I feel like I don't use this one too often but I love the Koki lip liners. And then the actual lip, is from Milani. This collection is kind of older. I don't think they still make these. Well, I'll try to link everything. Actually, they might still make this. The shade is called I Am Bold, and it's like a half pink, half red. If you use more of a fuchsia lip liner, it'll pull really pink. But anyways, I need to put this mess away from getting ready, and then I'm about to head out the door and go to a coffee shop. Right now, I'm just charging my laptop and my iPad to take with me. I feel like today, I, I do have some editing to do, but I think I'm gonna do that over the weekend because today I want to focus just on planning, thinking of some video concepts, prepping for some deep dives that I have coming up. So it's mostly gonna be just like a prepping type of day. And then after that, I think we're gonna stop at Sephora because first of all, I need to buy a backup of my pharmacy. I talked about this in another video. I'm out, well I have like half of, a, half of one use left of my pharmacy niacinamide cream. This will be my third time repurchasing it. It's so good. Like the first time I got it in PR, I purchased it myself every other time because I cannot live without it. But also, this was one of the mascaras that I got when I purchased a mascara set around holiday time. And you know, at Sephora when they'll sell like the mini sets and you have all these little ones to try out and then you get a coupon to get a free one. Well, the one I've decided I like the most, actually I haven't tested all of them yet, but I know I'm gonna like this one the most. This is from Callie Ray. 
this is such a good mascara it's what i have on today i think the bangs are maybe blocking my eyelashes but this is like right up my alley it's not too too bold but i feel like it makes your lashes look really long it is a tubing formula so it comes off pretty easily also I really like this so I need to remember to pack that coupon with me so we can take that to Sephora also I don't I cannot decide what I want to do with the hair I I kind of want to just like tuck the bangs away they're kind of annoying me I know they're gonna be annoying me while I'm trying to work so I might go on a date this weekend I don't know though you guys so there was this guy he has just not been great at responding which for me it doesn't I mean, we, we haven't met yet, so it'll be a first date. So it's not necessarily the biggest red flag yet because we haven't met. It's not like we're dating, but it's not really giving me a good first impression because we've been trying to figure out a day to go on a date. And even when I told him like, you know, I'm available on this day, and then he didn't respond for over 24 hours before he was like, okay, I could do Sunday. And I don't know. I don't want to read too much into it because I haven't met him yet, so I don't want to just like write him off based on that alone, but I feel like that's not a good first impression. So we may or may not go out this weekend. But anyways, okay, let's go to this coffee shop. Okay, it's not Monday. I've done like my base makeup because I'm about to film my eyeshadow for a throwback tutorial, which I've been posting like more of those on my shorts tab. So today you guys voted that you wanted to see one with Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. I don't think that's gonna be up quite when this vlog is up, but probably before the week is out. Yesterday, I, I ended up going to brunch. I have like some clips of that, that you guys probably saw, but I did not vlog too much of it just because you know, I've talked about this before, but it's hard sometimes to find like a balance between wanting to get the content and also just wanting to be present. Okay, I just adjusted the camera because I felt like I was in a really weird spot. 
but I just I didn't vlog too much I was just enjoying the moment but I wanted to update you guys on the day that didn't happen yesterday so I'm pretty sure I mentioned like earlier in the vlog that he was already maybe like not the best about responding especially when we were trying to coordinate a date like a day that worked for both of us I would tell him like you know I'm available on this day and then I just like wouldn't hear it from him there was one point like there were a few days we threw out and it just was like a struggle to find a date that worked for both of us and I had mentioned to him I was available on Sunday and I think I said this in the last clip but or an earlier clip in the video but he didn't respond for like a day and a half after that before I was like oh yeah I could do Sunday and so I already was a little bit like leery of things but then he mentioned on Friday you know he was going to make a reservation let me know and I'm like okay cool and then I really didn't hear from him at all on Saturday and even on Sunday like it was Sunday morning the night the day we're supposed to be going on a date I still hadn't heard anything and I know you might be thinking like well Kelly you could just reach out and say hey are we still on for tonight like what's the plan and I considered doing that a few times, but here's why I didn't. He told me he was going to make a reservation. And so I'm looking for someone that has good communication skills, someone that has follow through, someone that I can rely on. If you say you're going to do something, I know that you're going to do it. I'm not looking for someone that I have to check back in with like, hey, did you do that thing you said you were going to do? So I didn't check in. I kind of was just genuinely curious to see like when and if he was even going to say anything. And it was sunday night at like 5 30 which i mean assuming we would be going at around maybe seven like that's already too late like i would have to start getting ready probably before then to be able to re be ready and then to leave because it, it takes a while to get anywhere in new york so at like 5 30 he was like hey i didn't forget but i kind of just told him you know i don't know that we're a good match i'm looking for you know i'm a big planner i'm looking for someone else that is too i don't really do last minute like this i was a little bummed and i'm sure that he is lovely but that's just not really what i'm looking for uh it was fine though because i ended up having a lot of work to finish up yesterday night so i did that instead but i think this is where i'm gonna end the vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed this i had so much fun filming it i have a vlog playlist i can leave linked down below and i will go ahead and see you in my next one bye